Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Wake Up. Today's main subject we're going to be discussing is a female or male just asking their spouse or just taking their spouse's phone and looking through it, or when a spouse actually puts their phone down and the other spouse like just picks it up out of the blue. You know, so we're going to start out here. We're out here uh, filming in Chicago, so we're going to raise it up for Chicago. Oh, sorry. Uh, so, I mean, we'll start out here with uh, Helena. How do you feel about that? Somebody just picked up your phone. You've been with them. They just grab it want to see what the hell's going on. How do you feel? Honestly, I would get kind of irritated. Uh, okay, let's just say. Let's say if they physically grab it from my hand and I'm texting, I'm going to be like, yo, what the? F- you can't wait two seconds? Like, I'll give it to you. I, I think I think us hand. as men, after, like, you start giggling and laughing, we want to see what the fuck you're laughing about. So we just, like, y'all, we'll take, like, what, what are you laughing about, honey? You know, so... It gets to a point, you know, but I know you women get crazy about that. They can't take when anyone else makes you laugh but them. Yeah. That's why. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I wouldn't mind it, honestly. It just depends on why you're asking me. If you if you come up to me and you're like, babe, Loki, I'm feeling kind of insecure right now. Can you reassure me? Go ahead. That doesn't happen in real life. So it does happen. Put out a real I, life you're mature. Fad, you be thinking guys ain't shit. Guys like, don't just say, hey, babe, I'm feeling a little insecure. Men are not, men are men. Here, let me see that shit. Uh, me. They're not saying I'm feeling a little men insecure. Can Which men? That? They don't communicate that way, okay? Oh, okay. What about you? Where is a communicator, sir? I need him. I'm sorry, but if someone's snatching my phone out of my hand, you're getting slapped. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry. Damn. You don't play it. What if like, you put it down? No. What if you put it down already? You're washing it, dishes, I mean, you put it down, he picks it up. I mean, it depends. Like, if it's just to, like... I mean, I've given my phone to people to, like, order food and just walked away with it, like, being fully open, like, being able to go anywhere through my phone. Like, it is what it is. Yeah, I mean, well, random people is fine. Like, yeah, if it's, they're like, just ordering food. Where like someone's like snatching out of your hand? Oh hell no! Like, I mean, you've been with a guy, yeah. let's say five six months. You know, he wants to kind of know what the f- what's going on. Go through my phone, no. Mm, unless I can go through theirs. If it's a mutual thing, then yeah, sure, no problem. I have no problem depends with that. You can go through people's pictures. I mean, it just depends. Like, there's some people that are just weird with it. Like, maybe they have something on their Google search that you know. Some random thing like, can is it cool for me to pick my nose or something? I don't know. Like people are just weird. People have things on their phone, um, either that or in like their notes. Do you think you save yourself some time though? If you went through a man's phone after you're dating him a month and you're like, damn, he's hitting up like nine other bitches. Like, I mean, yeah. so would I though. So I mean, do you ever yeah. think you're like, <laughs> it's, it's, I mean, a, it's an saying, equal thing? Don't you think here. you're like, damn, I just saved myself. This is a horrible yeah. relationship. I'm out of it. I know, because if, he, if after two months, though, honestly, like, like if someone gives, their, if someone's able to be that trustworthy from the beginning. And just showing me that, you know, I'm talking to this, this, this person, then it's it's fine. Like, I would be that forthcoming as well. It's like, a, it's a mutual thing for me. I, I reciprocate what's given. You know, if like you want to be that open about it, then I can be that open about it. You know, if you're not going to be butthurt about it, because there's some guys that just can't accept the fact that there's other people. That's that a lot are, of men, not just some guys, a lot of men. Guys can't I, handle there's, I've, that I know a handful of men who like are polymerous, at least. Like, they like the fact that their woman is that's, talking that's to a younger men. generation i'm talking about the 30 to 35 year old oh no i'm talking about men in their 30s 40s i don't talk to kids he's talking about swingers that's what she's uh, talking, swingers, I'm talking about that's a whole different story honey but yeah so it just depends you know like i don't i don't mess around with normal people i guess it's just i don't <laughs> it's really so that. you're okay, <laughs> so you're okay. It, 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 yeah like if i'm if i'm able to go through your phone and you're wanting you want to go through mine i mean that's fine do you think you saved yourself some time though if you're like damn i'm really into this guy and all of a sudden, I find out, you know, yeah. like, his, I didn't, it wouldn't his, bother let's me. Say his Snapchat opened up and you saw like nine other women, you know, and they're texting nasty shit in his Snapchat. I mean, everyone is, though. No, not everybody. You're just saying that to get out of the not question. Not everybody. Not everybody. You're saying that to get out of the question. Elaborate. I feel like a lot of people do, at least the people that I know. I feel like everyone talks to a whole bunch of people. <sighs> Truth comes to light. Honestly, I'm not going to go out my way to look through anybody's phone because just throughout my life i've had like little things even like a girl texting him and him flirting back it has came up it may not be the second he did it but i will find out eventually you and get mad just, you seem tense over there oh, you well, seem mad. well i'm again i'm just assertive and to me like i don't play that shit so like there you go yeah so like regardless so she said everybody's into dating everybody you're not you're just no, one man I'm that's not, it right i'm not I'm so do you ever think like hey I, I saw his shit like fuck i'm not wasting any more time oh hell yeah. time is worth if more I, money if, right yeah like there's been some times where i'll get insecure but i'll be like yo low-key i'm feeling insecure i feel like you're on some shit my stomach hurts i'm waking up with my stomach hurting and i know something's wrong i'm gonna go through your phone if you're gonna question me if you're gonna hide it you're gonna at, tell me 10 different reasons why you're not to is bye i'm not gonna ask questions i don't want to lose my appetite tonight i'm gonna just be like respectfully i decline i'm walking the fuck away because you're hiding some shit from me why is it so hard for you to show me something you could have my phone if i'm dating well, someone, at the same, I'm about at the same time though it's like 
Okay, I don't like. I'm gonna say shooting shit. I don't like people going through my phone. And like you said, just personal reasons. It's privacy. Like, yeah, it's a privacy issue, and you don't pay for my fucking phone bill, so there's no reason you should be touching my phone. Mm-hmm. You know, like I said, if it's mutual, then it's like I guess it's okay. But I feel like just randomly picking up somebody's phone, like I feel like that's an insecurity issue, mm-hmm. and now it's becoming a trust. Issue I feel like it's point. like a trigger just from like us being children and like our our parents mm-hmm. taking our phone away and just like doing that out of despite. Like you know, like it, our. Our personal life and our privacy was very, very limited as children or teens, as as at least. And like for someone to take away something so personal from us, it triggers us. So I mean, some of it can be from like just triggers from you know You're past 100% experiments, right about that. even relationships where people this have stuff, taken people's yeah. phones away. Like mm-hmm. it's just a trigger. I feel like for everyone, unless like you've grown up where like you have an open family or like are okay with like sharing things. I have met people who are like very family oriented like my roommate has three sisters and he so he's lived with with females all the time he's okay with people going through his phone like he doesn't care it's like second nature to him but there's people who have not been in an environment like that that just get i don't know like it's kind of like nature versus nurture though you yeah know, kinda, you know develop into something of that nature what but i mean what do you think over there i think that if like i'm sitting there and my phone's out and i'm like looking through my dms or something and like my man's kind of like looking over my shoulder, kind of like looking, see what I'm doing. That's fair. But when it becomes like a homework assignment, like, let me see your phone, like literally <laughs> digging through my DMs to try to find something when a man just like, you're hot and like reading like, so you're talking to this guy because he wrote you're hot. Like that sounds like, no, 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 you're not grabbing my phone and doing all that because like, I'm not engaging. Like I'm a girl. I have an Instagram. Like people are going to come at me. Regardless. Like, this isn't a homework assignment. Like right. this isn't an investigation. Hand it over. <laughs> yeah. And, like, like, like I'm sitting there and I'm like, but like, I mean, what if it's vi- vice versa? You know, most pretty women, you guys are the crazy. Easiest. That's what they say, at least. You know, I would, they ain't never say, lie. They I, say, You guys, uh, let me see, let me see your stuff. Let me see your stuff. Y'all, yeah. I want to see I'll it. I'll say, like, when I was in my relationship, <laughs> I didn't ever necessarily think, like, okay, like, I can't wait to go through his phone. I'm not going to say when I had his phone, the wind didn't blow me over to his messages and the wind. Didn't so when you're, when you're committed, yeah, when you're glitch. committed, yeah, did, when yeah. you're, you, when as a I female, as soon as you make that commitment, that's when you decide, Hey, look, no, I want to be serious that. with you. I want to be serious with you. When do you be like, I need to see something. I'm not asking no, for it, honey. I'm waiting until you go to sleep. No, <laughs> so you got to set it. I'm going through everything. You're going to wake up to and it wasn't right off the bat i mean obviously i trusted him for a little bit like i said it became not as i necessarily distrusted him it was just i was on his phone and yeah out of curiosity like it wasn't that i was trying to find something i said i wasn't drilling him i wasn't like having this so what do you do when you what what do you do when you find something yeah i did find something and what and then it was done yeah, well, we kept going and it was a thing. So, yeah, I found something. And after that, I kept looking and looking and it became a toxic thing. It becomes obsessive. Because that, obviously, I found something. and But before that, I didn't actually look finding the intention of finding But do you feel like when you did, did find something, you, like, saved your time? You know, at the end of the day, you could move on. You know, you're fresh. Well, I saw and- the reality, the truth of it. But at that point, like I said, when he, if he were to go through my point, phone at any of that point, he would have found nothing. Again, maybe, like, creepos in my DMs. But, like, like... He could look through it, but again, so it showed you what you needed to see. Yeah. So you were feeling some type of way, and you're like, oh, I wasn't gonna- feeling anything. That's what I'm saying. Like I wasn't going to drill him. I literally was just like I'm you store it in the back of your head. Just, no, I literally was just on his phone, and like just out of like boredom, like what does he do on his? So phone? if you guys like, were given, if you guys were given a male advice, hey, you just started seeing a woman after two, three weeks. When do you start cutting off all those women? Like, hey, when, when do you guys? guys when do you guys start cutting them off? When you guys off? actually have the conversation, people don't have after that conversation you fuck. anymore. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as you hit, <laughs> as soon as you raw dogging this, as raw soon dogging. as you take the condom off, raw dogging, then you ain't fucking nobody else, and yeah. I shouldn't be fucking nobody that's else. Basic, yeah. That's people don't think that way though. People don't no, think that way that's, no more. That's just that's just that way, yeah. In general. Guys will fuck three girls raw, but in reality, so like gross. if you're fucking that me baby. raw, you should only be fucking me raw, which means you should be exclusive to me. Yeah. Now, if you don't want to be fully committed to me, that's different. We can talk about that, but in reality. People don't, like you say, guys don't like to talk about that. It doesn't matter because reality, a girl's going to ask. If a guy's not going to talk about it, a girl's going to ask, what are we? Are you seeing other women? What are we doing? So the girl doesn't look stupid because at the end of the day, her girl could have 10 guys with and without a relationship as backup. Once the guy got it already, then it comes down to, you know, is he sticking around because he likes you or not? Once he's already got it, he's sticking around. Oh, he ain't never leaving after he gets in. I'm, I'm just saying. <laughs> I never normally, got laughed after that. Period. I never got you know? laughed after that. I don't know what that feels like. I, that's true. the problem. I feel that. <laughs> <laughs> like, because I'm a little pussy. <laughs> 
it, I, I believe I it's relatable that. to everybody. I feel no, like. I've never got hit and left. It's yeah. toxic after that. No, yeah, yeah. After, after, that, that, after, that, after, that, after that, you're going to be asking to go through my phone. Yeah, yeah. After that, problems, Who you with? But... Who you with? After that, it's put on the location. Yeah, yeah. I'm crying. So, okay. so generally, you're saying that you're saying, no, you can't use my phone. You can't. I don't want to. I don't want someone going through my phone or it's a double standard. Or what would you say? I don't think it's a double standard. I think that there should be no reason. Like, again, if you have no trust to be like, like I said, like a homework assignment, I think that it should be a little open that like if there's nothing to hide and getting someone sitting there, you shouldn't be like putting down your phone constantly. No, yeah. Like super secretive. Like that's super weird and like a red flag. Um, But I don't need someone like grabbing my phone or like I said, when I'm texting, like what are you doing? Or like acting that way. That's 100% like a no. Mm -hmm. And like Mm -hmm. it's an invasion of privacy. And not even that I'm talking to anyone. Like I don't need him like reading what I'm talking about with my girlfriends and not that it's anything or talking shit about him or yeah, literally venting about what i'm going through most with time him. we're talking shit about it's, them yeah at the end of the day most of the time you guys are it's not even about anything crazy just like you said personal respectful things that i don't need you reading what i'm going through and like guys don't talk about their feelings like that with other guys so we're not gonna find that shit in their phone we're gonna actually find something so there's a little bit of a difference also i don't know i mean that's it's own it's not that it's a double standard but it's just we so you can go through that. his phone, but he can't go through no, yours. No, I'm saying it's not that. That's I'm what saying. you just said. Yeah, that is what you just said. So admit it. Just admit it. You're fine with that. I agree. I, you mean, can go I can his. go. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> fuck. I can. I mean, I well, don't mind getting my phone. I have nothing to hide. Yeah. yeah. So I guess. No, no. I'm, I'm just kidding. But I at feel the same like, time, like I don't know. Yeah. No, but I don't like. It's just. It's an extent. It's you an know. Ex- yeah. Um, I feel like. What do you do when you find something? I feel like if you're if you're you find something. Let's say you found something. You're walking away, and then you are. I mean, if you're if you're down to that extent, it, it just like it depends. Like if if it's a trusting, then like and you're both on a serious path, then obviously yeah, you should leave. But if it's you know just some a, oh no, that's like a fuck buddy. If you would say, and but you know, even if, if it's a fuck buddy, buddy not going through a fuck buddy phone. Yeah, yeah. Well, someone else. Depends how good the D is. Yeah. I think we live different lifestyles. <laughs> I think we live different <laughs> lifestyles. I guess why you're going through somebody's phone. At the end of the day. Yeah. yeah. Like like she said, I'm not going to let someone just snatch my phone out of my hand. But at the end of the day, yep. like, if you feel like some type of way, go ahead. I'm you not said as soon as he gets a roll, then all of a sudden I need to see what the fuck's like, going what on. Like, what did you That's say? You said. said if I were to give advice to a guy. Yeah. If you're, if I want to know. If give you're, advice to a guy. If you're 10 toes down for a female, you need to have that talk with her. Give it a give it a good month and then go through because in reality you can start dating someone for two months. There's still gonna people. There's still gonna be people yeah. not respecting your relationship, still yeah. in the DMs, making you look like you're flirting and when you're not. not but case. when you gotta give that person like a month or two for that shit to clear, yeah. show them they're fully committed. But like I've been in this situation where I was dating someone for over a year and I found just flirting DMs, just like swipe ups, bye in their sleep. I found it because I I woke up out of my sleep. Oh, so you don't pay that shit. I don't play that. You're shit. You're like Judge Judy Prude. Like, I don't play that shit. I woke up on my sleep. I was like, oh, this is what you want to be on? After I'm innocent as hell, I let you sleep in my bed. You come in my home. Bet. Get the fuck up. Walk away. Let them walk out my house. Blocked. We're done. Because guess what? If you want to move this way when someone's giving you their all, there should be no reason. The thing is, people like to give people excuses, reasons. Well, yeah. social media is literally the only per- the- every person's discipline. So if that person doesn't have discipline for you in the beginning, why are you going to beg for it for him to continue it? You, he's clearly showing you that he doesn't have it, him or her. So walk away. People like to fight for something that's not there. Like, yes. they'll show you how they feel about you. Yes. And you saw all the evidence right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I agree with you guys. Hi, guys. I appreciate you guys coming on the show. Thank you for another episode of Wake Up. We're out over here. Bye.